Well, Paul Bunyan Days in Akeley is celebrating 70 years of being, bringing families together. Reporter Sherelle Moore has the story in this week's Community Spotlight. We have a lot of things and we're real family oriented. Uh, it's our 70th, so we kind of amp things up a little bit this year. Akeley loves Paul Bunyan, and it's safe to assume Paul loved his birthplace too. To celebrate the man who created Minnesota's 10,000 lakes, the town hosts the Paul Bunyan Days Festival every year over the last full weekend in June. The festival has gone through changes, but one thing that always remains is it's fun for all ages. Years ago we had carnivals and that always drew people in, um, but now we, we decided to dispense with those probably, oh, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago. Um, and then now we're just going with more of a homegrown sort of thing. There's a lot of activities here. I like to see um, some new activities and everything. It's actually kind of fun to see new ones and do them and try them out. This year, there are more than 50 vendors involved from all over Minnesota who brought food, shops, and even live music. There was also a kids' fishing tournament, a parade, and more carnival games than you can imagine. Everyone had a favorite. Popping the balloons over there. Popping the balloons over there. From food trucks to fishing, this year's Paul and Dave Festival had everything. There is even a rock climbing wall so you can feel as tall as Paul Bunyan himself. Well, every year they try to do things a little differently, but uh, so far all in all it's uh, a good event for the locals and for everyone, I guess. With such a long history in the community, Paul Bunyan Days has become a staple in Akeley, much like the man himself. We've had a good, a good history of Paul Bunyan. It's amazing how many people stop to have their, their picture taken, have the kids sit on his hand, all that kind of stuff, you know, they, they stop all the time. And some say that if Paul was here to witness the festival today, he definitely would like what he saw. We try to gear it really to Paul Bunyan, and um, it's always been Paul Bunyan days, even before our big statue came. But I think he would be proud, yes, because kids, and I think Paul always had a special place in his heart for kids and that kind of thing, and family get together, and, and that's what this is all about. Reporting in Akeley with this week's Community Spotlight, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.